Greetings my followers, for me Kenmo and today I'm going to give you guys a routine to lose belly fat. Well, now that I have your attention, let me be clear. You cannot target belly fat. You have to lose fat overall your body and that's a tactic used by many people out there to sell some product and misleading you guys to do the wrong thing, to have the wrong approach to go about what you want to achieve, which is losing your body fat. You cannot lose your, uh, your belly fat. You cannot target it. Let me reiterate it. You cannot target body fat. You have to lose fat overall. But the good thing is by clicking on this video, I'm going to give you guys a very good routine a very simple scheme to work your app and make it uh, what you call them, strong and good looking at the same damn time give you guys some out of steel and marvelous one at the same damn time so here's gonna be using we're gonna be using the app wheel and I've already made some uh, some videos in the past on how to use uh, the app wheel uh, it's gonna be on this side for the beginner, the wall assisted one, and then it's gonna be on this side for the general uh, use of uh, the of the app wheel. So you have two options, and uh, feel free to check both out if you need if you need to. And uh, now that you have checked out and know how to perform it uh, efficiently, let's get back to the routine. So. This is a question that I've, have, uh, I've received many times of how many repetitions should we be, uh, should we be doing when using the app wheel. So here how it's gonna be, it's gonna depend on the intensity of each version. So we have the wall assisted version, obviously still on your knees, the very basic uh, version of the app roll, up rolling uh, exercise that you can possibly do. Uh, it seems to be uh, like a, a pretty, mild intensity uh, exercise for a lot of people but then again it could still be really intense as intense as doing it on assisted still on your knees of course so it all depends on your level if you're able to do 10 repetition with fully uh with your body fully extended to uh what you call them, to the floor while you're touching the uh uh the wall which is this, I don't have access to the wall here, so I'm gonna use those dumbbells. So here, the most basic one that you can possibly do would be here, having the wall to assist you in your endeavor to come back up. And again, keep your tuck here, hip uh, tucked down. You go all the way to the wall, this being the wall. You see, you still don't have the full extension, so you wanna set yourself pretty far, so you can go, on the end range, touch the wall, have the strength to come all the way back in. And as you can see, see how I keep my, uh, my hip tucked in. So this is pretty simple for some people. Somebody like me, I possibly could do 20 of those before I get tired. But for a lot of people who are using the wall to assist themselves is because they don't have the strength to do so. so I would suggest you guys to start with a basic scheme of five set of five. So you go for five repetition, which will be that here, down, down, down. So you go for five repetition, you get about two minutes to two to three minutes break in between, and then you go back again and you go for five repetition for five set of them, five set of five basic shrimp skin and uh, if it happens to be very easy then I would suggest to go for 10 repetition and then you stick to three sets of those whenever you do uh, the 10 repetition so that will depend on your level your strength level uh, the skin that you're gonna be going by and then the next uh, level will be the unassisted version from the wall, which will be the intermediate version. Let me start 
here. Now, I hope I'm in the, let me see here, okay. So, from here, keep it tucking, extend, and back in, extend, and back in. So, this is the next level and much more challenging. And for the average person that's even athletic, this could be the, uh, the, 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 the version that you can stick with and master it. Because even though I can do the full body version, it's still intense. It's something that unless I peak in, uh, in training it, it takes me a little while to get to 10 repetition with a full extension. Like as of right now, I possibly can do five, but for me to do more, I'll have to be training it consistently on a weekly basis to be able to pick to a higher number. So even for myself, I can still use the knee assisted version to complement my lack of, uh, uh, the lack of, of ability to do uh, enough repetition to get me the total volume that I need to make progress. What I'm saying is, you will need a total of 25 to 30 repetition per workout. And a workout should be sufficient for the week. Or if you're one of those who uh, need, feel the need to do more of that, even though I would not suggest, you can go for another, uh, another session. So, the prescription will be no more than twice a week and whenever you go for a total number of repetition you want to stick between 25 and 30 repetition and then set wise depending on the intensity of the movement that you choose to go by you want to stick to five set of five if it's a mid uh, like a higher end of the mid intensity or you want to go for three set of 10 if it's something that's fairly easy and you start feeling the burn after maybe seven and eight repetition and you have to squeeze out maybe some extra, you know, two repetition to get the work that needed. So it's just, um, uh, it's not black and white and it will all depend on your, your, your strength level, whatever uh, rep, uh, rep, rep and set scheme you use. But for the average athletic person, it will be the knee, the knee on the floor, tuck down and back. And always make sure you fully extend, squeeze your butt and back in. So this are pretty easy for somebody like me. So if I was to try to go for some uh, burnout at the end of my workout, I can do a set of 10, for example, and still get a good workout in it and in this case i'll only stick to three set of ten and that should be good for my workout that day for somebody who have a hard time performing even one which will be for most of you guys out there you can stick to five set of five and i would suggest to do that mostly maybe the, uh, before the workout itself or in the middle of the workout in superset with something else and most likely not at the end of the workout because if it's still kind of a strength based, uh, a strength uh, scale, uh, a strength level uh, uh, movement for you, you may, not, you may be too depleted to perform it at the end of the workout. So that's uh, just to give you guys an idea of how to uh, program it, how to incorporate it in your, in your routine. And now we have the, the big boy itself which will be the standing one here. So it starts straight, extend, then back in, and make sure that you keep your knees extended fully, right? Because a lot of people, they block and then they roll into it. Now you don't wanna do that. You wanna have the, only the hip as a hinge. Extend to the fullest, and come back up, without extending your toes. Fullest. Come back up without uh, lowering your lower back. What, what did I say? I said toes now. See, that's how intense it is. So, even for somebody like me, I have a very strong core, 
without training the full I mean the the full version is still kind of challenging. That's just uh, an example of strength specificity. You are as good as what you train, and this is the least um, I mean the least concern uh, on my uh, you know on my training regimen lately. That's the reason why I can only stick to three, and after that I really have to balls my eye out to, to finish it. So that was just the bonus. It will not apply to most people who will be watching this video. So let's sum it up. Let's get the summary up. So don't forget to use some padding for your knees because in the hard floor for a lot of people with pre-existing knee condition, even people with healthy knee, it could be leading to bruises if you stick, if you keep your knees on the floor. So nothing wrong with having your knees on the support so you can have a good cushion. And sometimes over, I mean, uh, the pain on the knees, the discomfort can, oh, uh, what you call, keep you from performing efficiently whatever was supposed to be uh, actually easy, you know, if you didn't have to deal with the discomfort of your knee. So taking away the discomfort can actually boost your performance. So let's go over again. You have the, uh, the wall assisted version. I'm going to use the dumbbell here as the wall. So most beginners will have to do that version. Feel free to use the wall and you set yourself at the distance that's just good enough for you to come back up with a proper position. So that's how you determine how far away you stay from the wall. How far you can go down and be able to pull out and keeping your hip tucked down without breaking the form. That's how you determine. And depending on your level, you will do five set of five. If the five repetition, I mean, if it's something that's still intense for you to do, or you can go for three sets of uh, 10. So that will be something as such. Here. Good. Tuck in, boom. And bring it above your, your tummy in a way that your wrist, elbow, and shoulder align. So right there, you go. So for this, you could go forever, but for somebody with no core integrity, uh, necessary to perform it, or how to really struggle to do so. So, uh, for somebody on an intermediate level, you could go for uh, three set of 10. For a very, very, very beginner, you probably will have to stick to five set of five. Set the wall away from yourself in a way that you can come back, pull out in the perfect position. For the next level, on the sixth version, still the same way, tuck back down here, Roll, pull, roll, pull. And make sure that the end range, you fully extend it and fully bringing it. Fully extend it, fully bringing it. Shoulder hinging, the hip staying there. That's that. Five set of five for the average person who is just getting started. And you know, the, for the average athlete who is just getting started. Um, the you, I mean, uh, the use of the up wheel and uh, not really comfortable with it. And three set of ten for somebody who is already um, uh, what you call you used to it, habitual user of uh, the up roller. And for somebody like me, I can still use the knee assisted version because the standing version is really, really a hard uh, feat of strength, as I cannot do five consistently. So that's that. You have three set of ten or five set of five, depending on your strength level. I hope that was useful. And uh, yeah, this is basic routine that can help you lose belly fat. Again, no, you can't target your belly fat, but I can create you some abs still, so marvelous that you can see your six packs true shirt don't you want to have the type of uh, you know uh, this type of bulgy and strong abs to, 
the point that you don't have to be walking around shirtless before somebody knows that you have some uh, apparel apps. And uh, as a frequency, no more than twice a week. Once a week should be sufficient. Uh, you want to push it, you feel a little bored, you want to have more work in your apps. I don't know what else you're training. Maybe you can do it twice a week, but I would say that's just more than enough because a lot of time uh, you work, I mean, all the compound movements you're doing in your workout are more than sufficient to give you the ab work and the core stimulation that you need. I'm not a big fan of core work. I just, I, I use it really sparingly and uh, as everything else that you use, especially in gymnastic work, you require your core to be active and I don't feel like there's any need to really kill it more than it is already to uh, be able to achieve uh, great results. So I will stick to once uh, rep range of 25 to 30 repetition altogether, um, once to twice at the max uh, per week, and that should do it. So that's that, a good routine for to build some marvelous ab of steel and uh, lose belly fat, quote unquote. Uh, that's that. Like, comment, subscribe, please. That does help. And uh, be on the lookout for more content. Peace. Oh, everything is and will always be the Mikhail Moe. Salute.